six-time Canadian champion Tyler Cranston hosted a night at the Edmonton Symphony. The program showcased popular figure skating music, including songs from his own repertoire. The concept was doing a program of pieces of music that have been used by important skaters and have burned themselves into skating history and to moderate and give the contacts, explain why certain things were used, why they worked so effectively, who um, skated to them, how many people skated to them, um, an anecdotal account and also an historical account. According to Cranston, the music is becoming secondary to skating. I think that the music within World and Olympic competition is now perceived as being second to what you do on the ice. So the music isn't so important. So uh, a very Im important piece of music that was used um, by Torblin Dean, who won in 1984 in Sarajevo, they used Bolero, and that sort of galvanized the world. I mean, everybody associated that piece with them and their Olympic gold medal. Cranston spoke about how skating affected his life. But in my dreams, I undergo a torture almost every night of reliving all those bad performances that I gave. Of course, I did give a few good ones, but um, I'm sort of tortured by that. And so now I think of skating, I almost wish that I'd never done it. I don't think I really liked skating except for some wonderful things. And this at the Edmonton Symphony is one of the wonderful things. And it's readdressing what really, really um, became very educational for me and very pleasant was expressing yourself to music. Covered up very well. Now the unusual flying sit spin, change sit spin. Look at that. Just unique. After a successful amateur career, Cranston turned professional and competed in competitions, commentated, and also continued his art. Cranston lives in San Miguel Allende, Mexico, where he has an art studio. It's a 15th century town, and it is replete with 600 resident artists. And I have owned and worked there, and if I may blow my own horn for a minute, would be more international and more successful as an artist than I ever was as a skater. And um, the living in San Miguel has um, afforded me a period which I really think is the most creative period of my life. So I exhibit all over the world and although the artist's life isn't easy, I'm doing pretty well. Cranston says he didn't have parents, sponsors or governments to pay for his skating. I had to make it through art and so the very first painting exhibition that I had, which was at Ellen Burke's house, she had all the furniture removed by a, a storage company and we invited every person we'd ever met and I had this exhibition where I sold everything and was rich at 17. I think I made in those days something like seven thousand dollars which was pretty darn good you know for a 17 year old. Although Cranston says he's more creative than ever before that creativity came with a nasty price. It hasn't been easy but I've come this far, and um, in German they say, so weit, so good. So far, so good. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. Okay.